What's good everybody, it's Karsten Craning back at it again with another YouTube video. Today we're going over my shoe collection of 2023. If you don't know me, I make clothes and then I also make YouTube videos. I've been making YouTube videos since 2019 for over four years, which is a long time not to do this video. So we're finally doing it. And it's crazy because some of the shoes in this collection I have had since my first or second YouTube video where I like I unboxed some of these. Starting with these, these are some Mason Margiela replica gats. I bought these in 2017 after my friend Tommy bought them and he got them for a really good deal but they didn't fit, they were a little too big, so I bought them off of him. And so I've owned these for six years and they've held up great for six years. Since I've owned these shoes, XXX Tentacion's whole career has gone by and Playboy Cardi has released three albums. Obviously they have a little bit of wear and tear, but the Margiela Gap is just the perfect example of what you want in a designer shoe. Margiela took a pre-existing great constructed silhouette and invested premium materials into it to create a shoe that is not only just amazingly comfortable, but holds up over time. And they're made out of a really smooth, beautiful lambskin and seeing a whole bunch of different phases of my life and style. They're super sentimental to me. If I can recommend any designer shoe to you, it would be these. The next shoe is one that a lot of you who have been here for a long time will be familiar with. These are the BW Pilot Boots. These are my go-to like boot or combat boot and I bought these in 2019 and actually showed them early on on the channel. So I've had these for four years and they've lasted a long, long time and held up super, super great. I would recommend these over our most or 99% of designer boots. I've owned Guidi's, Rick Owens, and they're not even designer boots. They're, they're Austrian paratrooper military surplus boots that I bought for $40. If you guys are looking for the perfect intro or beginner boot, or even just like a nice boot to have in your collection, these are definitely one to get as they're super affordable, but also honestly hold up better than a lot of designer boots. The next pair of shoes I have are these Officine Creatine uh, Derbies. These are made out of a beautiful, soft, comfortable lambskin. I bought these, I think, in 2020. I was super into a lot of artisanal brands like Carol Christian Powell and Guidi. And these are a great alternative to Guidi. They have great construction and have that similar material and feel and slim shape. And I wore those a lot in this era. As time has gone by, my style has gotten a tad bit more casual, so I wear these less. But if you're looking for a great alternative to a Guidi Derby or a CCP Derby, definitely go check out Off Scene Creatine. The next pair of shoes I have here are from Solomon. These are some hiking boots. I'm not exactly sure on the model name of them, but I bought them in 2020 when I started hiking a lot. And they kind of got me into more gorpy, comfortable sneakers. They're definitely not the sexiest pair of shoes as I did buy these for hiking. But at the time, even though I bought these for hiking, I styled them in a bunch of ways. And looking back, that probably wasn't the best idea because these don't look super great. But they are an amazing hiking shoe from Solomon. After three years, they've been my still great go-to hiking shoe. Continuing on, on more of the Gorpy sneakers, I bought these Nike ACGs again in 2020. And while I bought these to sort of be a lighter hiking shoe alternative, what they became is my gym sneakers that I wear every day when I go to the gym. I bought these because I was sort of getting more into Nike. I hadn't bought a pair of Nike since the eighth grade. They have some pretty cool materials and they're super comfortable and work well for me at the gym. Going back though, if I knew I was buying a pair of shoes for the gym when I bought these, I probably would have gone with maybe a Hoka. Next pair of shoes is another pair of Solomons. This is the best Solomon silhouette in my opinion. These are the XT2s. I bought these in early 2021 and pretty much wore them all 2021 and all 2022 as my everyday pair of shoes. And they've gotten a whole lot of wear out of them. The silhouette of these is awesome. It's not too slim, but it's also not too chunky. It's that perfect middle ground and you can wear it with really any fit. I've worn it with CDG Own Plu, avant-garde fits. I've worn it with Gorpier fits. 
but I've also worn it with just more casual fits because it is just a perfect everyday shoe. Moving on, we have these puppies, which were my grail for a while. I got these in early 2022. These are the Nike CDG Ohm Plu Foam Posits, or as they're often called, the Comb Posits. I looked for these for two months in every retailer across Europe when they came out. You can go see that in my vlogs. And I couldn't find them in my size, so I finally bought them off StockX. And man, I just love these shoes. They go with so much. And they have such a unique design that captures CDG spirit so well. They really blend the whimsical kind of design style of CDG with Nike's sneaker design so, so well. And these are the furry Rick Owens Birkenstocks. For a long time, if you were to look at my sneaker collection, my sneaker collection from probably around 2017 to about 2021 was almost completely just Rick Owens. Pretty much every variation of Ramones, a couple different boots. But then in around 2021, at like sort of the height of Rick hype due to like the Playboy Cardi type of thing, I ended up selling almost all of my Rick Owens because I had bought them all for really low or really cheap. And then at the top of their hype, I sold it all. I still have mixed feelings to that about this day. Some of the outerwear still kind of, kind of hurts and I still regret selling. It was a great economic move for me, but it left a hole in my heart because I had no Rick Owens. These had always sort of been a Rick Owens grail that I would never let myself buy because it didn't make any sense. But I bought these as my sort of inside work from home shoes. I'd wanted these since around 2018. I think I saw Avery Ginsburg have them and I thought they're pretty novel. And they're just kind of a really strange, weird little shoe that I love. They're just like a goth, fuzzy Birkenstock. <laughs> Next pair of shoes is another pair of Birkenstocks. These are Birkenstock Bostons in a sort of felt. My girlfriend got these to me and for 2023, these have pretty much been my everyday shoe and sort of replaced the Solomons. I love these. I haven't ever had a mule before and they are so, so comfortable. I'm glad they're in a felt, which means that I'm able to wear them a little bit more in Seattle where it rains a lot instead of the suede, which, which would do very poorly in the wet climate. But yeah, I wear these pretty much every day when I just don't really know what to wear because they go with so much. They're very simple, very easy, not too flashy, which is what I like in a lot of my everyday shoes. We have my Boris Bajan Saberi Solomon Bamba High 2 GTX. These are another pair of shoes I wanted for years but would never bite the bullet on. But I finally did uh, in 2022. I wear these occasionally. I really love the silhouette and the look of them. They're very futuristic. Just a super really unique and interesting design. And the other thing I love about these is, is that they're 100% Gore-Tex and they're super, super waterproof. I've never owned a shoe like this that is like 100% completely waterproof. I ended up wearing these in like flooded areas for a little while and I was able to keep my feet dry through it all. These are my John Luke Ombridge Lavelle Hokas, otherwise known as the JLAL Hokas. Jean-Luc Ombridge Lavelle is an up-and-coming technical designer, worked on and for a lot of different technical outdoors brands, but has been making his own as a designer with his namesake label, JLAL. And he released a collab with Roa this year, as well as Hoka. And I ended up picking up the pair of Hokas for a pretty good deal. Love the design of them, I love how chunky they are, and I really do understand now why people love that super cushiony sole. It just feels super, super comfortable. But yeah, John luc Ombridge Lavelle or JLAL is definitely a designer to be on the lookout for and I love these shoes from this collab from him. That's pretty much it for my shoe collection. Thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram if you want to see any of the clothes I'm making and designing. A lot is coming out this fall. With that, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.